What up, y'all? I wanted to play with a couple of things real quick. I'm going to go to pen.new, of course, to start playing with them. One of the things we're going to look at is like some text decoration stuff, block quote, I mean. I have this um, <clears throat> Bertrand Russell. You know that guy? Some kind of famous logic guy. I don't know that much about him. If he's can't, I think I tried to read one of his books in college and my brain broke because I'm not that smart. Um, <clears throat> all right, so that's a quote. I do like the quote. Um, and I put a mark tag in the middle of it and it does like background yellow on the inline element, which I kind of don't hate. I think that's a nice uh, default, but I was kind of noticing that it put the yellow behind the text like a background does in all cases. But I was like, hmm, I wonder if mark, you know, reminds me of like drawing over the top of text with a marker. I wonder if we could pull that off instead. Uh, just as one little thing to play with. And it ended up like, you know, showcasing a bunch of new features that I thought would be fun here. For one thing, let's make this more palatable to look at. I'm going to put that in the center of the world there, because why not? And let's just make sure that the block quote itself, block quote, is like, it does, just doesn't go so wide. Let's do that based on the characters it is. So we'll set a max, you know, you'd normally set a max width, but we'll use... Uh, custom properties, so we'll use max inline size of like 40 characters or something. Then on the on the body itself, let's make it like a big, beefy, nice font. So we'll just set font. Let's make it like 900, super thick. Bump up the size quite a bit. Set a decent line height and call it System UI or a Sans Serif or something, just so it looks like a big, nice quote. Uh, I have SAS turned on. I guess we wouldn't need to. We I am in actually in Canary here. Let me turn it off and see if nesting works in my version of Canary here. I know that nesting needs to start with a character now. So how do you do this? Can I type? I think I can do that, but it that doesn't... I want to do... You know, I can always put site on the outside. I want to go like display block display block so that Bertrand Russell comes down onto a line and we can add the pseudo element and stuff. Let's try that. Can I go and before and then like put a like an M dash or something is what I want to do. So what is it? Like that. Yeah, that worked. Okay, so that's not SAS, but it is nesting and it's working. So thanks, Chrome Canary. That's cool. Um, how would I nest that further in there? Do, do I have to go like is site or something? I bet that's the case. Background red. Because now it starts with a symbol, so it's cool. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's okay. I could, could I go and site too? Would that just do the same thing? And site, background red. That would be block quote site. So that's fine too. Yeah, all right. Cool. Good enough. Let's do nesting when we can. Um, don't hate it. Actually, let's pull this up inside there. Why not? This isn't even about nesting, but this video is about just playing around. So there's that. I kind of like the ampersand first. Maybe we'll like intent the citation a little bit. Text indent. How many characters? Three characters or something. Push it in a little bit. Maybe change the opacity. It's kind of a nice look, right? Maybe we could bring down the font weight to something more like 300, set it off. We're styling it nicely. Okay, okay, one of the things I wanted to do though is deal with that Mark thing, right? So Mark, not the guy's name, just Mark, like the Mark element, and say background none instead. That will pull off the yellow that was already there. We could have changed the color of it too if we wanted to. Background, kind of fine. Uh, uh, but let's just leave it as none and do some other stuff with it instead. So if you've seen this like text decoration, we could always go like underline or something. That's like um, the default for like links. So I don't wanna do that necessarily. I don't wanna make it look like a link. I'm gonna say text decoration line is a line through. Now that looks like I'm crossing it off, like a strike element or whatever that is. That's kind of cool, but I could change that color. So text decoration color. This is great that we can do this. I'll make that yellow. 
now all of a sudden we're uh, it's like looking a little bit different, which is kind of cool. Now it wouldn't have to be yellow. Instead, we could use like okay, L C H um, color picker is <laughs> one of those things. Oh yeah, this is the the Martian guys ones or Martian people ones. So it's it, it's just fun to pick like a yellow that we maybe normally wouldn't otherwise be able to to pick. I want to get a chroma of a yellow. Give me some yellow. Give me like the world's brightest yellow. Way up there, yes. All right, so we could make the text decoration color. Oops, I didn't copy it right. That, and because this is a new color format, there's no like OKLCHA, they're just, they're, they're put with just spaces. We can always just do a slash and then put like 0 0.5 or something, which will make it partially transparent so but you can tell that it's rendered on top and not the bottom which is kind of cool we would probably consider doing like text decoration color and p picking a fallback in like hsl or something that is more browser supported we'll put it there and also make it 0 0.5 <clears throat> that's actually the one that we're going to see and we could just op option up, move it up, so that if this one fails, this one's the fallback rather than this one overriding that one. That's how you do that. Uh, so a cross through isn't exactly what we're looking for though. This is kind of the cool thing is we can go text decoration, decoration thickness. Did I still manage to screw it up? Thickness, let's say one pixel or something. Oh, look, it's gone down to one pixel. You know, it could be 10 pixels. It could be 100 pixels. And now all of a sudden we have this huge mark over it. But how would we, like, what is it? Is it like 1M or something that makes it about the right size? Yeah, that actually looks okay in this font. But note that we can use the LH unit one line height, which is actually really nice look here, I think, that will match it no matter what we do with the with the size. So if we were to like bump this down to one rem or whatever, it's gonna hang out with that, but we could kick this way up, have a higher line height and it kind of comes along for the ride. I, that's a, I don't know. I just think that it's cool that the line height um, property even exists. So I am noticing that Granted is hanging off here. It's, it's either an orphan or a widow. I always forget that kind of thing. Did you know you could do this now? This is brand spanking new. Text balance, balance or something. Uh, I think I have it, oh, I obviously spelled it right there. No, it's text wrap balance. So rather than having that go, it's, it's like looking at the words and trying to kind of balance them across the three lines that it has. Isn't, isn't that nice? Oof. Not balanced, balanced. Ah, that looks lovely. And we have our mark thing going on. Now, isn't that a little obnoxious that it goes full black when you try to do that? I was trying to look at this. I think it might be, it might be a bug. I know that you can do, like, let's use the nesting um, selection. That's the standard thing. And I could go like background red or something. And then as I come over, you can see the red just, for, it's like making the text decoration itself part of the highlight, you know? I wonder if I could change the text decoration color to like none here there's lots of limitations to what selection can do so i kind of assume that won't work i could make color purple then you'll see that instead of the black it'll be purple but it's like you can't read the text no matter what you do you can't read the text so it like seems a little obnoxious there i think that might be kind of a bug in the world of text decoration essentially uh, and, and what we can do with that. I don't know. I don't know. I'll just have to ask around. Let me know if you know. That would be kind of cool. But that's that's looking good. I think we should, you know, improve the look of it with perhaps a little oh, a little nice pattern, perhaps. So we'll say, uh, we'll put that as the background. And we'll change the opacity to really light or something. 
Oh, what a nice looking quote. Isn't that nice? So we looked at Mark and text decoration and how you can change a lot of that stuff and and nesting and balancing and lots of stuff. So that's <laughs> just playing with CSS today, March 2023. Have a good day.